Hello and welcome. I'm Nile Vilya from Rappler's social media team. Joining us today is Minerva Reneses, one of the two Filipino women vying for a spot on a one-way trip to help establish a colony on Mars. Minerva is among 100 candidates from all over the world, shortlisted for astronaut selection by the Netherlands-based Mars One project. Thank you for joining us today, Minerva. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Um, right now, I'm busy with work. So, there. First off, congratulations on being one of the few selected for this project. Coming into the next phase of the selection, what are your preparations? Um, right now, I'm just keeping up with the news. I'm uh, reading articles regarding Mars One. Every update, even um, skeptic views of the project, and of course, I have tried every effort to communicate with the other one hundred, other ninety nine candidate candidates. Okay, on um, these skeptic views, because I've read a lot, um, I've read a lot as well of skeptic views about the project. Mm -hmm. Are there any that bring out um, legitimate fears for you? Or are they are they all just things you can sweep under the table? Well, right now, what worries me is the uh, budget mm -hmm. of uh, Mars One because um, they do not release uh, information about their finances. So we're not sure if the project will push through. We just know vague information like um, they have investors or they have partners, but as to the progress of the project, we have no ideas so far. But mm -hmm. what's keeping us, me and the other candidates, um, hopeful is that, well, faith. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's, that's a good thing to hold on to, especially with a project like this. Now... If you yes. will be able to go to Mars, what will you miss the most about Earth? The sea. The sea. Definitely the sea. Yes. Do you do you visit the beach a lot? Yes, Are you a swimmer? I'm not really a swimmer, but I do visit the beach a lot. Um, I always do beach camps, and um, of course, when I'm in the beach, I swim. Okay. <laughs> so that, that's Include almost every week. Wow, that's nice. If you could bring just mm -hmm. five things to Mars, what would they be? Um, the first thing I would bring to Mars would be paper, because there are no trees on Mars. So if I don't know some sometime in the future that piece of paper would be treasure because it's something only That's Earth true. has. And then the second item would be a pen, because you need a pen to write on a paper. Since um, the technology in the future will only require us to use tablets, then a pen would be something novel and something unique. <laughs> That's true. And, yes, and as for the third object, I would bring a coin. A coin. Doesn't matter what currency it is. Yes, doesn't matter what currency it is, as long as it's a coin, and it's just something to show the future um, generations. Hopefully, if the project is successful, uh, something to show how the how the planet Earth <laughs> uh, moves, what system they use. That's true. That's because I don't uh, because once in Mars, I don't think we will adopt the money monetary system because we'd be we'd be in survival mode. So we have to help each other, and I don't think um, money will play a significant part early in the early on in the colonization process. Okay. Um. Now, what would you do on your last day before leaving Earth? Um, on my last day, it depends where I will be on my last day. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be with my family. 
I'm not sure if I will be in the Philippines. I'm not sure if I will be in the US. So I'm just um, being realistic by saying this, but I think I will probably eat. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat, um, you know, Earth's different specialties. If there's a buffet nearby, then I will eat in a buffet taste Japanese cuisine, American cuisine, Indian, Middle Eastern, everything. Because there there will be no there will be none of those in Mars. <laughs> so that it, be, it will be my last day to indulge. <laughs> <laughs> if you could make just one phone call before you leave for Mars, who would you call and what would you say to that person? Oh, I think I will by 2024, my niece would have been a teenager by then. And I think I would call her instead, mm -hmm. uh, among all the fam friends and family I know. Because somehow, um, this project is, well, this project can impact the world and the future. So mm -hmm. if there's one thing I, I will say to my niece, I will tell her I am doing this for you. As short as it's a message as short as short as that. That's a very lovely message to give. Now, what would you like to do on Mars? Well, I really don't have much information yet as to what um, as to what we can do on Mars. But if if it's possible, then I would like to climb the mount the uh, mountains of Mars if that would when, be fun. if the word mountain, yeah if the word mountain is applicable or rock formations or whatever it's because it's it's one of my um, hobbies here on earth oh, okay. <laughs> so I and I it's one thing that will remind me of home now, if you do stay on Earth, what are your plans for the future? Um, right now, I'm thinking of um, pursuing uh, writing novels, mm -hmm. uh, publishing books. Although it's, I'm still a newbie when it comes to writing, especially uh, 100,000 words mm -hmm. worth of uh, documents i don't think i'm still fit for that but if i will stay on earth i will try my best to um, become better to become a better writer to become good enough to publish something that's a nice dream what is your message for others who also aspire to be a part of space exploration um hmm. I think my message will be uh, do not limit yourself because one of the things that hinder that hinders that hinder people are fears so once they fear they assume some things cannot be achieved some things are not achievable but they are so and I so far, from uh, from my conversations with friends and acquaintances, even strangers, most of them are fearful of what they cannot um, see. And for me, if you're going to enter into space exploration, you have to face these fears because it is part of um, space exploration because it is something new. It is something um, we're still well, as the word goes, exploring. So I think if you want to pursue this uh, kind of um, career, it's fear that you have to f eliminate first. Such a lovely message. Okay, well, that's it for our interview with Minerva Ranieses. Thank you very much, Minerva, for joining us. All right. Thank you.